During the bite, she injects saliva to stop the blood from clotting. Her infected saliva also carries the malaria parasite. The parasite rides the bloodstream like a network of roads, seeking its first target. Sensing its arrival at the liver, the parasite searches for an exit. A sentinel Kupfer cell is the entry point to liver tissue. Leaving the blood, the parasite infects a liver cell, killing one or more other cells on its way. Over the next few days, the parasite undergoes hundreds of nuclear divisions, copying its DNA over and over again. A single infected liver cell can create thousands of new parasites. The next generation of parasites are modified to infect a new target. Red blood cells. Inside a red blood cell, the parasite can hide from the body's immune system. The parasite slowly devours the contents of the infected cell and creates more parasites. The infected cell be sticky and sawn to blood vessel walls. Once mature, the infected cell bursts, spreading more parasites through the bloodstream. <laughs>